Hi, my name is Jessica Walker. I am a doctorally prepared nurse practitioner who specializes in aesthetics. And I wanted to go over some of the aftercare and the do's and don'ts after a filler appointment. No matter what appointment you come in for, whether it's your toxins, filler, sculpture, or laser, we have wonderful laminated cards that we will give to you at checkout with all the do's and don'ts. But it's wonderful to be able to review them with you right now so you've got them fresh on the mind for whenever you come in for your appointment. The biggest thing is safety. We want you to have safe, beautiful results after your filler appointment. So these do's and don'ts are crucial to follow so you have beautiful, safe outcomes. We're going to want to avoid makeup for 24 hours after filler appointments. There's lots of needle pokes. We want to make sure the skin stays nice and clean and those holes are able to heal up before applying any makeup. Ice is also going to be your friends for the first few days as well, bringing down any inflammation. We will also give you a container of Arnica, which is a natural anti-inflammatory, which will help mitigate some of that swelling and bruising. We go over in detail of how to apply it and where to apply it after your filler appointment. We also want you to avoid exercising for a few days for your body to be able to heal properly in that initial post filler injection point. Another aspect to consider is expectations. I know we all wanna walk out of the office with these perfect, beautiful results. And sometimes you don't have a lot of swelling and bruising and other times you do. We need to manage those expectations of knowing that bruising and swelling are normal and part of the healing process after having filler. In fact, sometimes you can even have asymmetrical swelling, big bruises, small bruises. This is all part of the healing process. It takes a good two weeks for tissue integration. After two weeks, the filler will be tissue integrated and you will have beautiful balanced results at that time. At checkout, we will make sure you not only have the office number, but you will have the medical provider's cell number to get a hold of us if there were any concerning issues during the healing process. You were probably wondering what might be a concerning issue. If any of the tissue were to look gray or white, like it's not perfusing, if you were to get a red lacy rash or any vesicles on your face or an extremely uncomfortable area, at that time, it would be very important to contact the office so we can bring you in for an evaluation if any further steps need to be taken during the healing process.